Hello everybody and welcome to some more Fight a Subscriber, where a subscriber has sent me a craft and I throw it into a series of 3v3s against a selection of my own fighters, which you can see here. For those of you who are new to the channel, we've been doing things a little bit differently this series. Uh, we've been live streaming some preliminaries and uh, the best competitors will have made it through to this round. So let's go and meet the craft that will be running the gauntlet today. This then is the P69GX Slapter by Legadlac, uh, one of a great many craft I received this season containing the number 69, you cheeky little devils you. This is the first of this mini drone style craft we've had this competition. Uh, it is powered by four of those Tiger afterburning engines, part of the Airplane Plus mod. Uh, it is armed with a single GAU-8 cannon and ten Sidewinder missiles. It did reasonably well in the preliminaries, winning three of its five fights and looking very good as it did so, but uh, it'll be facing a very different kind of challenge today. As usual, we've taken it up for a test flight. Uh, the roll controls are a little bit sensitive for it to be flown properly by hand, but uh, the AI seems to get on all right with it, and that's what's going to count here today. It's a very manoeuvrable craft. Uh, it does lose a fair bit of speed in the turn, but it is very light, so it picks it up again afterwards very quickly. Um, now, inherent in this design, there are some strengths, there are some weaknesses, uh, so I'm very curious to see how this plays out in the actual fight. So, uh, without any further ado, let's go and find out. To get the ball rolling then, the Slapters will be going up against my club tails. Uh, let's get this one started. And I think all of these craft are set up so that all I have to do is press start competition and I don't have to start their engines first. Let's give it a try. Good stuff, I'll see you in a second. And our first fight begins. For those of you who are wondering where the Slapters landing gear has gone, um, with mini drones like this, it's quite common to have it all on a little, um, a little takeoff trolley that it, uh, it jettisons as it's taking off, which is uh, just tied to the uh, to the uh, toggle gear action group. It's an ingenious little thing, which I only learned about during the preliminaries, but uh, it seems to be quite effective. Keeps the weight down, keeps uh, gives you this lovely sleek craft once they are in the air. Oh, was that was that debris? Was that debris? Yes. One of the club tails is gone already, taken out by one of those sidewinds. I won't. I wasn't sure how effective they'd be at this range, but well, clearly pretty effective. How are the other two club tails? And another one. Richmond Kerman has been taken out. I was expecting the club tails to put up put up a bit more resistance than this, but um, no. It appears the Slapters are really putting one over on the club tails. This is a surprise. Jebediah Kerman is going to have to pull off some heroics. Although if anyone can do it, Jebediah can. Uh, well. Okay, I guess nobody can. Uh, let's move on to the next fight. Just after I stopped recording that last fight, uh, I realised that the uh, the club tails had managed to fatally injure one of the Slapters before Jebediah gets got uh, taken out, so that that doesn't go down as a clean sweep for the uh, for the P69s. But uh, they've still got an opportunity to wreak some havoc. Uh, for example, right now as they go up against my Panthers, let's get this one going. So round two begins, uh, and in their rebalanced forms, uh, the Panther seems to be the weakest of my craft. Uh, I've certainly uh, was certainly warned so by Legadlac, designer of this craft, who is also primarily responsible for rebalancing all of my own craft for uh, this season of Fighter Subscriber. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this one uh, works out. Now these Sidewinders—they're not normally that effective from this kind of range, but they. Uh, they certainly seem to do a number on the club tails. How's the range doing? We are down to about six kilometers and it looks like some of the Panthers have already sustained some heavy damage. Valentina Kerman, Daphne Kerman. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It is not looking good for the Panthers. It is, however, looking quite good for the Slapters. Daphne Kerman. Which one of these is the least damage? Oh dear. I did say they had an opportunity to uh, get a clean sweep with this fight and it looks like they are taking that with both hands. Daffy Kerman 
trying to break low, trying to dodge these missiles, but it's not going to be easy. Just the one Panther engine, though, that's um, that's not going to attract those Sidewinders too much. Although, that said, yeah. Unforgiving efficiency there from the Slapters. Another ridiculously short fight. Let's just check all three of them are in good working order. Okay, so they've come through those first two fights, not perfectly, but still with flying colours. Um, though I suspect this next fight's going to present something of a greater challenge. Formidable though they may have been up to this point, the uh, the Slapters now take on my newest craft, the Red Hawk, which is uh, a step above the others, so we'll uh, we'll see how they got on, but for this one we'll follow up the Slapters. Um, let's go for the lead one. So we can see the uh, see the landing gear detaching. Just in case you're interested, this is not at all to pad out this episode because the, <laughs> the fights are ridiculously short. The other two have already detached their landing gear, but for this one, when it reaches about 140 meters, the landing gear falls away. And the craft is now unencumbered. I'm very surprised how this craft has done so far. Um, I don't think it's used its Gow 8 once, which is kind of disappointing, because if a craft comes to you with a Gow 8 attached, you want to see it in action. Um, as I said previously, I am very surprised how effective the Sidewinders have been even at long range, um, though they have really, really been buffed in their recent versions of BD Armoury. The competition starts. This Slapter pulls hard over, hasn't uh, loosened any of its missiles yet. There it goes, two of them at my Red Hawks. The Red Hawks, have they launched their own missiles yet? They've got the maneuverability to come round and uh, get their own missiles away pretty quickly, but they don't appear to have done so, so far. What is going on? Jebediah pulling hard over and having to pull hard again to evade those missiles. Looks like he's managing it okay for now. Those those slapters are getting very close. This is very much the danger zone at the moment. A couple of Amrams are launched by Jebediah Kerman. Hopefully giving the... Uh, Giving the Red Hawks a bit of respite under that from that barrage of Sidewinders. Is it enough? Will they be able to get these uh, these P69s well and truly onto the back foot? Jebediah looses a couple of Sidewinders. Now this is pretty much the perfect range for them, but the Slapter manages to dodge. Explosions everywhere. I'm assuming for the moment that it's just missiles not hitting their mark. Now Jebediah has a missile incoming and it shreds him to pieces. One of the other Red Hawks is gone as well. It's an impressive outing for the P69 GX Slapter 3. Valentina Kerman is going to have to dodge these missiles, but she doesn't manage to do so. And for a craft which won. Only three of the five fights during the preliminaries. That is, um, that is surprisingly good from the Slapters. This one trying to fire at some debris there. Uh, not entirely sporting, but um, given it's an autonomous drone, we'll let it off. Anyway, let's um, let's go look at the final scores. A series of vicious performances there from the P69. Um, God knows how short this video is going to be. Um, if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with uh, nine kills and eight survivors, they fall just short of a perfect score. They're on 17 points, just behind the uh, the Gladius. Um, still a good performance, and still one that's going to be very, very hard to beat. A huge thank you to Legged Lack for this craft, and uh, that will be all we'll be seeing from the uh, from the Slapter for now. I suspect we'll see it again before too long, though. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord if you haven't already. Um, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but uh, for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.